Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube news channel and we have a new development in the legal battle surrounding Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. According to recently obtained documents, the alleged lover and outside counsel of Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade, purchased plane tickets in her name. Wade, appointed as a special prosecutor by Willis on November 1, 2021, filed for divorce from his wife, Joycelyn Wade, just a day later. Notably, Joycelyn Wade was served with divorce papers on November 3, 2021, but Nathan Wade did not disclose his appointment by Fannie Willis until later in the proceedings. During this period, Nathan Wade enjoyed a lavish lifestyle, spending tens of thousands of dollars per month on extravagant trips and experiences. Court documents reveal that he failed to comply with his discovery obligations in the divorce case, leading to contempt of court orders. Wade's credit card statements showed numerous trips unrelated to his work with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, including destinations like San Francisco, Napa Valley, Florida, Caribbean cruises, Belize, Panama, and even Australia. What adds a layer of significance to these trips is the evidence suggesting that Fannie Willis was intended to be a travel partner, as indicated by the purchase of plane tickets in her name. In response to these developments, Joycelyn Wade's legal team seeks to depose Fannie Willis to obtain details surrounding her romantic relationship with Nathan Wade. They argue that there appears to be no reasonable explanation for the extensive travels apart from a romantic relationship. Fannie Willis had previously cited the irretrievably broken with no reasonable hope of reconciliation provision in her divorce pleadings to deflect inquiries into Nathan Wade's infidelity. However, Georgia divorce proceedings allow parties to amend their pleadings, and amendments are permissible until the entry of the pretrial order. Therefore, Joycelyn Wade's inquiry into Nathan Wade's infidelity remains within legal bounds. It's crucial to note that in Georgia, the conduct of parties in divorce cases, including evidence of alleged adultery, is relevant and admissible. This includes the right to engage in discovery to uncover evidence of adultery. As this legal saga unfolds, we'll continue to keep you updated on the latest developments. Don't forget to subscribe for real-time news updates, and thank you for joining us as we navigate through the complexities of this ongoing case. Stay tuned for more updates as we receive them. Despite seeking protection from a deposition, which is typically granted to high-ranking members of a governmental body or entity, Willis faces continued challenges. Joycelyn Wade's legal team argued that Willis possesses unique personal knowledge of her romantic relationship with Nathan Wade, making her argument for protection invalid. In response to these developments, Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee has scheduled a hearing on February 15 to examine the allegations against the Fulton County DA and her chief prosecutor. This follows recent accusations that Willis hired a private lawyer with whom she had a romantic relationship to prosecute former President Donald Trump. The charges were brought forward by Mike Roman, a former Trump campaign staffer indicted in the state with Trump as part of the fake electors plan. Nathan Wade, who was allegedly in a romantic relationship with Willis, was paid more than $600,000 as a special prosecutor assisting in the extensive investigation of Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election, according to public court documents. As this legal drama continues to unfold, we'll be sure to keep you updated on the latest developments. Don't forget to subscribe for real-time news updates, and thank you for joining us on this ongoing journey through the complexities of the Fulton County District Attorney's legal battles. Stay tuned for more updates as we receive them.